hello and welcome to the tutorial. So today I want to have a look at a nice little riff from the Jurassic Park theme. So it's just kind of like the main overall theme of it. It is a very long song otherwise. So this version is for sort of like the confident beginners. Um, I'm going to go through everything and the sheet music, anything you might not know, just leave me a comment and I'll answer them for you. So the first thing I really want to do is have a look at the actual sheet music and explain a few things before we start. The first thing to really look at in any piece of music is the key signature. So it's this little sharp here at the top. There's only one and it's an F. So it means all of the Fs through the piece, even these ones here, they all need to be played as an F sharp. These little lines underneath are for the pedal. That just means your foot goes down and comes up. Don't stress too much about that if you're not sure. You know, worst case scenario, you don't actually need it too much for this piece because the left hand does hold on to a lot of its notes. The other things to look out for are our phrases and our slurs. Little curved lines just mean to play everything smoothly underneath um, or above them. And these little numbers are our finger numbers. So one being thumb, five being pinky. Um, in the left hand, it's mostly all just thumb and pinky that plays in the left hand. So I haven't put any finger numbers there. They're all just like little chords. Um, this symbol here, that's a natural. It just means that that F there, that just told us in the key signature that Fs need to be sharps, but the natural negates that. So that F is just played as a totally normal F, where all of the others are played as F sharp. So in this bar, it starts with an F natural, and then it wants you to play an F again later, but they want you to turn it back into F sharp. So this bar, just for example, would be F natural, one, two, three, and then it turns into the sharp. So the left hand has a natural there as well. It's just played as an F, that bottom note, instead of the sharp. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward and I'll go through and show you everything that you need to know. So here we are at our first line. So let's go through the right hand first. We're starting in what we call G position. So our thumb is on the G. Now our second finger, our pointer, is going to cross over and play F sharp. Then it's just going to come back into its normal position. So don't, don't do some big massive turn and twist. You don't need to do anything too crazy. Just got to cross over just a little bit. So here we go two, three, two, three. So now we're over here. Our pinky needs to play A, right? So we just played our thumb on G. All you're going to do is just, just do this. Get your thumb and your pinky to just, just a touch. Because your pinky's going to go on the A. So your hand's going to close up a little bit. So your pinky can get on the A and then just push all your fingers out of the way, get them nice and neat again. So it's, it's like you want to have your fingers as if they're magnetized to the notes and you always want to have one per note. So let's go into that little bit again. So I'm just going from the three, one, just here. Three's on the sharp and then it jumps back. See here at the end on top of little old triceratops there, three, goes back on the B. So we're in G position, we end up in D position. So just remember B and G play at the end here, that's going to lead into the next bar. Because the next bar here, see we've got an A. So it's going to end up like this. One, two, three. Pinky's already where it needs to be, so you're five. You're fine to stay there. Hand position change down to C position. Pinky's on G. Two little random notes at the end there, the G and the F sharp. Obviously they're going to lead into our next line just like they did before. So just remember G and F sharp we just played. Now the start of this line is F sharp. This really low note here's a G. F natural. Play that with your fourth finger. Back to the sharp. Now the 
these last two notes again are going to lead into the next bar so we play G and F sharp that's just going to lead into this other F sharp again here it is low G again and we're doing what we call an octave so we're going from G G eight notes apart same note but higher two three four F sharp, two, three, four, just like that. So I'll play the whole right hand all the way through for you now. So here it is at the top there, thumbs on G to start with. Let's move on to the left hand. So the left hand is in these little patterns, these little groups, pinky and your thumb, you normally play them. So we're starting with a G, it's like a G chord, we're just not playing the middle note. So we've got G, and your thumb just moves up one, and we're back down. Pinky goes into F sharp, so we've got F sharp and D, G and E back in then we're moving up to D just like that so I'll do that one more time so starting on the G two three four two three four down to F sharp up to D so next line we're actually still on the D so stay there Back to a C, down to G, back to D, and we're heading down to the G again, thumb goes up one, then thumb goes back, thumb goes up, just like that, so it doesn't move too much. Next line it's still just on that G, so nice, nice and neat. Four of them in a row, bam, one, two, three, four, F natural. That's the F natural we've got to watch out for here. So it's normal F. One, two, three. Back to G. Thumb comes up. Last line. So left hand doesn't really do too much. It's not too crazy. Another four of these. One, two, three, four. Up to C. Two, three, four. D, two, three, four. Cha, cha, cha like a lot of uh, theatrical songs. We've got to have like a bit of a fancy ending there. So just some quick notes at the end. So let's start putting them together. Here we are. Thumb on G in the right hand, pinky on G in the left hand. One, two, three. Thumb comes up. like this. Now the right hand is going to play an A next, okay? So we're finishing on the G, A, no, what am I on about? B, G. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So just finish with the B, G. Move your right hand down. Remember we had G and F sharp just at the end there. I'll just replay them again to lead us into this section. So we had G and F sharp. One and two, three, four. F naturals. One, two, three. Back to the sharp. So again, remember, 
G and F sharp at the end of this line is going to lead us in. So I'll just replay the G and the F sharp. And then you hear one, two, three, four, C chord. And there we have it all together. Hopefully that all makes sense. Like I said, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will answer them for you. I'll put in the description how to get the sheet music and all of that stuff. So lastly now, I'll just play the whole thing for you hands together so you can see how it all goes. So here we go, thumb on G and left hand in G position. Hopefully that's helpful and hopefully you're all keeping nice and safe out there. If you have any requests for some tutorials, let me know and I'll catch you soon.